Hello? Hi, sir. My name is Clinton. I'm calling from the Popeye's Louisiana Kitchen Corporate Complaints Department. How you doing? Yes, sir. How you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. Uh, I was upset to get your complaint across my desk. It seems like you had a bad experience at one of our Popeyes. Yeah, man, it was horrible. And I'll tell you this about oh. Popeyes. I'm from New Orleans, and uh, every Friday, I mean every Tuesday, my family eats at Popeyes. And no matter where I am or what part of town I'm at, I stop at Popeyes on Tuesday because they have the special. And I love Popeye's yes, chicken because I've been eating it all my life. I'm from New Orleans. And yes. uh, this particular uh, Tuesday, I'm going to be honest with you, I've been real sick. I've been out of the hospital. And it was my first day back going back to work. I'm a contractor. And I was uh, installing some insulation. And I didn't have time to eat because my wife is out of town. I didn't have anything cooked. And today's Tuesday, so I made my mind up to go to Popeye's. So... <clears throat> On way of coming home, I had medicine to take when I got home, but I had to wait 30 minutes after. You take the medicine and then you eat 30 minutes after. But I knew I didn't have anything to eat, so I stopped at Popeye. And I got me two specials and a large red bean. And I made a comment to the guy about the red bean because the price came up to like $8 and something. I was like, wow, I could have went and got me some gumbo. You know what I mean? Instead of the red beans, because the red beans almost four dollars. I was, you know, kind of complaining a little way about it, but I bought them, and I came home. I stuck it in the microwave. I came up here and I took my medicine. I didn't even turn the microwave on. I just put it in there, and I took my medicine and I went and washed all of the insulation off me first. Okay, and I went, and I figured that'd be the thirty minutes now after I took the medicine to eat. I'm hungry. I haven't eaten nothing since breakfast all day, and I have to eat something because I took this medicine. So I was really, really hungry. So I grabbed the red beans and I started eating the red beans. And when I realized I was halfway through the red beans, I realized they were hard, kind of hard. So I'm like, this rice is kind of hard. So I took it out of my mouth and it wasn't the rice. It's the beans was harder than the rice. So I'm like, wow. So I wasn't even complaining then because I didn't feel like going anywhere else. I had to took all my clothes off, took my shower. You know what I'm saying? I was in my pajamas. So I put the red beans down and I grabbed the chicken and I started eating on the chicken. And I thank God that I got wearing glasses now because I haven't been wearing glasses. I just got a new prescription of glasses and I look down and blood's running out the chicken. So <clears throat> I'm still not even thinking about going back to Popeye's with it. Okay, but then I started feeling sick all of a sudden. I started feeling sick and then I went and threw it up. So I took a picture of the chicken and I went back to the Popeye's to where I bought it. And I complained, okay? They were real nice to me. They were real courtesy. I have them on video. But the guy, uh, we discussed the beans because I asked him about the beans. I said, those beans are frozen or what? Because it was, well, they seemed like it was hard. He said they, they come in a bag or something frozen and they put it up under the thing to keep them warm. And it probably had been there too long when I bought them. And the manager lady at first... She acted like she didn't want to talk to me, but she was on the phone with somebody. But she did come and talk to me, and she was really, really, really nice. And she gave me my money back. But she was trying to figure out what time, realize who time she was asking them who was cooking, who was responsible for cooking the chicken, who was on at that time. They were trying to figure that out while I was still there. Okay, they offered me some uh, free chicken. Well, I didn't even eat any more dinner. You know what I mean? That the dinner was ruined. I didn't want more chicken. Definitely. So they gave it to a guy that was in line because the guy asked me, well, I'll take it if you give it to us. Well, y'all can give it to him because I don't want no more chicken. So they gave him the chicken and I left. But I got all of this on video. And and like I said, I'm not in, I'm not the type of person that try to complain all the time. You know what I mean? And, mm -hmm. I, and, and I'm not like them people, like the young people, everything they do, they want to put it on social media. I'm not chasing all of that. You know what I mean? All of that. I'm not crazy like that. But I'm very unsatisfied because I had to go to the hospital. I went to the emergency room and the emergency room gave me a uh, nausea medicine and some kind of pain medicine for my stomach. And then they uh, kept me there. I stayed there. I didn't get home to about three o'clock this morning. And so I didn't go to work this today because I didn't get home to three o'clock this morning. And my stomach is still today. Right now it's bubbling. Okay. But, uh, oh, hmm. I tried to fill out your little survey online, but I got that crossed up. I couldn't send you the pictures. Okay. 
But I have pictures and I got okay. videos in my phone. Like I said, they were real nice to me, but it's still the fact is the chicken was raw and it got me sick. I got two prescriptions that's in Walmart right now. I got to go pick up because I didn't go pick them up today. But uh, that's the situation. Okay, so I'm really sorry to hear about that. So I've just been taking detailed notes of what you're telling me here. Mm -hmm. Give me one moment here. And I'm if just the way I can up. send you a text oh, message, I can send you a picture of the chicken. Yes, sir. I, I would definitely like to get you over to my supervisor, Ron, uh, because he would definitely like to get uh, a picture or a video or whatever you have uh, no, to send him. Is it okay if I put you on a brief hold? Yeah. All right. I'm going to send you over to Ron. If we get disconnected, you can call me back directly uh, on your caller ID. That's my direct line. Uh, my name is Phil Fee Colors. Phil? Yes. Okay. All right. All right I got to explain this all over again to, to him now? Oh, no, no, no. I, that's why I was typing all the notes. Oh, okay. And your name is oh, Phil. Right. I'm going to lock this gonna... number in and I'm going to hold on. Yes, Phil Fee Callers. Okay. Thank you, man. All right. You're welcome. Hold on one moment. All right. Your call is very important to us. Please hold. Hello there, sir. This is Ron Blackman. How can I help you? Yes, uh, I just spoke with Mr. Phil uh, about my situation in Popeye. Right, right. You, he, uh, you were just spoke, speaking to Phil, uh, Phil Thee Colleds, I believe. Is that right? Yes, right, correct. Right. Okay, great. Um, so I understand here from the notes that you, uh, you ate some bad chicken. Would that be correct? Yes, sir. Okay, and I understand there's a video. You made a video? I have three videos. I have a picture of the chicken. Okay. And I had a video of the conversation when I was refunded. Okay. But since then, like I said, after I left there, I went to the hospital. Well, could I, I ask? Catch can so on my stomach. It, it would really but help. It, it, it would really help with my investigation here and, and in terms of us providing some kind of compensation. If you could email all of that over to me, all the videos, all the pictures. Okay. Okay, that's, um, I'm not that great on email savvy, but if I do my best, give me a minute, let me get a pen, I'll write down your email address. Okay. But I could, I know I could send, I know how to send it through a text message. But uh, give me a minute, let me get a pen here. I'll write down your email address and I'll do my best. Okay. And if I don't get it through, you can call me back and if we'll get it, because I got it saved in my phone. What's your email address? Okay, I'll give you an email. We have a number that you could try texting as well. Um, but okay. I'll, I'll give you the email. So it's Gmail. Okay, I'm going to try to do my best to send this to you. Okay. Can um, you give me the text message with my number also? Yeah, so text it over to... Five. So the, okay. the quicker you can get those over to us, the better, because there is a time limit on I'm, when I can hold this investigation open. So the more I'm going to try to do that right now. Perfect. Once I receive those, we'll call you back to follow up, okay? Okay, thank you so much. All right, bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> the next day. Yes, this is Joseph. Sir, this is Ron calling from Popeyes. Uh, just to let you know, I received your text messages with the pictures and also the, the medical bill. Okay. I'm sorry about the, uh, the delay in getting back to you. It's been a very busy day here. How are you doing today? And this is Phil I'm talking to right now, right? No, this, Ron. this is Ron. Ron. Um, Ron, okay. Um, really? And it's actually quite important we get this dealt with now. Um, my employee, Phil, um, are, are you able to drive over to the Popeyes right now? I can. Yeah. Great. Okay, so basically, uh, my employee, Phil, is already there. Um he's heading up this investigation and I will be on my way there in about 10 minutes. Um, okay, well, I can meet you there in less than 10 minutes. I'm not even 10 minutes away. Great, because uh, I would like to meet with you. Um, so, uh, and obviously, just make sure that you are secure as well. Um, 
So right, man, because I, that was that would make me feel a whole lot better. Because like I said, that phone call I got last night, like I said, the night before, I spent a night in the hospital with Popeye's issue, and then I'm up all night with this guy on yeah, the phone. Yeah, yeah. It was kind of late when I talked with you and and, and Phil. Well, I want to make sure you know, this. Like, I want to make sure this problem with this hacker doesn't go any any further. Nothing else happens. Um, so, yeah, you said about ten minutes. Do me a favor. If you could just give, uh -huh. if you could give me a call back on this number, this will this will patch it through to my cell phone. Give me a call on this number oh, when oh. you when you arrive outside the Popeyes, and I'll tell you where to meet me. Okay. Okay. Now, if I don't get through because I tried to call back last night. And I couldn't get the phone number. They said it was a number. That's what I'm telling you. I got all confused. The number I tried to call back, it said that uh, that it was not, uh, a not working number. You know what I mean? Huh. Right now, it's showing. I put Phil at Popeyes, but it's not showing the number on my phone. Okay. Well, then so I'll tell you what. Hold on. Let me grab up. See if I got a pen. I'm sitting in my truck here. Well, I can tell you. I'm, I'm gonna be. I'm driving a, a gold expedition. And I'll have a white New Orleans Saints hat on. Okay, I'll tell you what you to do. I'll tell you what to do. Just when you pull up outside, um, I'll okay. do, I'll, I will call you in 10 minutes. So say 10 past the hour, and I'll tell you where to meet me. So until then, you just wait in the truck, okay? And I'll call you in 10 minutes. Okay. Great. I'll be there. All right, speak okay, to you then. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> yes, sir. Stop it. <laughs> Hello? Yes, sir. Hello, sir. Yeah, hi. It's uh, Ron. Yes, sir. Well, are you here? Uh, yes, uh, I'm nearly there. I'm just uh, in some traffic right now. Uh, so Phil okay. is in the manager's office out the back. So if you want to exit the vehicle and make your way into the store, I'll stay on the line with you. Okay. I'm going to go up. Did I need to bring the receipt with me and uh, uh, get the picture of it, didn't I? If yeah, we've got we've got all the pictures and everything, so that's no problem. Oh, okay. Okay, I got it. I'm in the truck. I'm leaving the truck. Okay, I'm going into the store. You want me to ask for Phil? Um, so Phil is in the manager's office. So if you just want to make your way into the manager's office, do you see the entrance there that's marked employees only? It's only a bathroom, two bathrooms. Okay, so do you, you see... You sure you're at the, at the... That's right, yes. That's where Phil is right now. So if you go over to the counter, do you see where is they... Phil here? Yeah, that's right. Phil, do... the manager. No, it says no Phil here. No, Phil's not the manager. He's a representative of the franchisee owner. He's so... a Popeye's representative. He's supposed to be in the office. Is, do you have a... Uh, Phil here, that's a Popeye's representative that's in your manager's office. Sir, sir, no. sir. No. Sir. No, he's not here. Sir, can you hear me? Hello? He's not here. Sir. Yeah, you can't hear me? Sir, can you hand the phone to the employee? I'll explain to them what's going on. Just hand them the phone. Hold on. This is Ron, one of your representatives. He wants to talk to you. Hello, can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Hello, ma'am. Can you hear me? Yes. Ma'am, this is Dr. Blackman at the Macron Institute for the Criminally Insane. This man is an escaped mental patient. Uh, it's very important that you keep him calm. He may be making up some story about asking for a manager or his friend Phil who died in Vietnam. Um, just, okay, what I need you to do, ma'am, is ask him to take a seat and wait, okay? Tell him everything's going to be okay, everything's fine, and talk in a soothing voice, okay? We have, a, okay? we have a team coming out there to pick him up soon. It's important that you keep him there. Maybe get him a cup of water or whatever he wants. But just ask him to take a seat. Tell him that Phil is coming. It's very important. Tell him that Phil is coming, okay? That will make him calm. So tell him that Phil is coming and just take a seat, okay? Okay. Thanks, ma'am. Okay. Okay. No, I'm good.
You still there? Okay. Yes, sir. Can you hear me, sir? Can you hear me? Yes. Sir, can, can you, hear, you hear me? Can you hear me, sir? Yeah, I'm moving around. Can you hear me over here? Yeah, yeah. What, what did she say to you? She told me to have a seat in the lobby, and she offered me something to drink. Perfect. Okay. Um, if you want to wait there, um, I'll, I'll, I think Phil's coming out in a moment, and I will, uh, I will see you in a moment. Just wait right there. If I have any problems, I'll call you back, okay? Great. Okay, right. bye-bye. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Hi, sir. Hi, sir. It's Phil McCavity. How you doing? Hey, Phil. I'm sitting here waiting for you. All right. Uh, this is Joseph, right? This is Joseph. I just got off the phone with Ron. He told me to meet you here, meet you here at the store. Yeah, I, well, I'm right back here in the manager's office. Could you just come back and meet me? Well, I don't know where it is because she just did a bit tell me that nobody here named Phil. Yes. Okay, well, the manager here tells me no one's here named Phil. He told me to come here and have a seat in the front, and you're going to be with me, but I don't see a manager's office. All I see is the two bathrooms. Well, yes, yeah, sorry. It's, uh, the manager's oh. office is behind the, the counter. The counter? Oh, okay. Well, let me ask her, can I go back there? She must be didn't know you was back there. Yeah, and no, I didn't he, introduce the manager myself office to back any there? of the staff. Phil is on the phone. Say he's in the manager's office back there. Is there a manager's office back there? Is Phil back there? He said he's back there. He told me to come back there. So you want, let me let you talk to him. Hello? Yes. Hello? Ma'am, can you yes. hear me? Ma'am, can you hear me? Ma'am? Yes. Okay, he's becoming distressed. Ask him to take a seat. Tell him that Phil is coming. Okay, could you maybe offer him... So, do you have a chicken nugget? Just one chicken nugget that you could offer him? <clears throat> Um, we I need... have whole pieces. Sorry, ma'am. I only have whole pieces of chicken and tenders. Okay, ma'am. It's very important that we get him calmed down. Take a piece of chicken over to him, okay? And it's very important that you cluck like a chicken. So you need to go buck, 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 chicken like that, okay? And that will just totally calm him down. I know it sounds unusual, but this is very important. Okay. Please do it as soon as possible, ma'am. It's very important we calm him down now. He's volatile. We will be there in five minutes, but please do the chicken thing. He's here? He's here. He's not here. Hello? Hello there, sir. What's happening? Yeah, I'm here. Uh, she said, uh, who am I talking to now? This is Ron. I I, uh, I just arrived in the back office. Are you here? Okay, I'm here. But you, you, once you get to the back office, you got to go around the back. Yeah. Well, I went around oh. the employee entrance, around the back. Um, oh, because they don't know you're here. Then. What What is the they're telling me to the back there? So. Oh, what is can the, I come around the back? What is, What is the employee doing there? Oh, uh, uh, she's waiting and putting chicken up. Not waiting on a customer. He said they got an employee interest around the back. Is there an employee interest around the back? He's in the two doors. Well, he's in the back. She, she, she told me to sit down. Uh, Phil said he's on his way, but I'm talking to Ron now. He said he's here. He came in through the back. Okay, she said sit down. Okay, just I'm just hand. Okay, let me speak. Let me speak to her. She hasn't spoken to me yet. Hand her the phone. I don't want to answer. Hello, ma'am. You must, ma'am. Can you hear me? Yes. You must do the chicken noises. He's becoming volatile. Quickly, as loud as possible. Quickly, and just say chicken, chicken. Okay. You just being nice, I appreciate it, but chicken is the last thing I want right now. Mm -hmm. I don't even want this. Okay. Thank you. I'm good. Thank you very much. Hello? Hello, sir. So what, what, I do, or what? What, is, what is happening, sir? What is going on? 
she was offering me. She was trying to give me some chicken. I don't want any chicken. Oh, she she's yes, just sir. she's just trying to be nice. Yes, she knows that you're a, you're. A, I appreciate it. You're a corporate well, guest. Right just just hand her the phone, and I'll tell her to let you go back there. I didn't. I couldn't hear her properly. Okay, let me try this again because she keeps telling me to sit down. Okay. He wants to call, talk to you again. Say so he can barely hear you. Uh huh? Ma'am, can you hear me? Yes. Ma'am, we are stuck in traffic. I need to hear you do the chicken noises. Just go over again with a piece of chicken and say, buck, 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 chicken. <laughs> Quickly. <laughs> Quickly. You in the back? You back? I'm back? Nope. What's going on here? What you want me to do in the back? Sit down? What? He told me to tell you to sit down. Uh, he just told me. You and can't hear what he's saying? I can hear what he's saying. But he's telling me, tell you, want me to tell him about you in the back up? He's not back there yet. He's on the way. He told me he can't get you back. He's there. He told me to put you back on the phone. You can't hear him? I can hear him. So give it back to me. Hello, Ron? Yes, sir. So what do you want me to do? Sit down or go in the back? Okay, sir, come around the back. Come around the back to the employee entrance. Come the Just back. come outside. Come around the back. Don't listen to her. She's been belligerent. Okay. All right. I'm coming around the back. There's the door where it said no deliveries between 12 and just the door you're talking about? Yeah, just come through there. It's locked. Now push it open. Nope, it's locked. Okay, knock, knock on the door. Knock on it. Do you see, uh, Phil, go and open the door. Phil, can you hear me? Yeah, I'm here. I'm coming. I'm coming. You'll have to knock louder. Okay. Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me. I'm going over to the back. This is scary, man. <laughs> so, but I'm I'm pushing on the door. Do you hear me, man? We must be in different locations. I think it's we jammed, sir. Okay. Huh? I think the door is jammed. Can you pull on it, man? We must be in a different location because the door I'm at, nobody's moving and shaking it or nothing. This door says delivery is by the drive through by the dumpster? Yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. That's my entrance I went through. Well, I'm standing right here, and, and you can't be pushing on the door because the door will be shaking. I'm standing here. The girl in the front said nobody's back there. Well, I'm pushing on it, sir. I don't have any arms, actually, so I, I can't push that hard. Okay, but listen, listen, listen this on, is, man. sir, this is getting silly. Let's, okay, this is getting really silly. I'm so sorry about this, sir. This is getting silly. That that girl in the restaurant, she doesn't even understand what's going on. She's a bit simple. Just go in there, okay? Climb over the counter and go back here and oh, meet us. Hell no, I'm not climbing over no counter. Excuse I'm me. not climbing over no counter, man. You crazy? Sir, just come back here, okay? We need to discuss this. Well, where are you at? Come back in the restaurant. Are you in the front? Come in the front where I'm at then. Okay, I'll meet you by the counter. Stay on the phone. Okay. If she doesn't... Oh, he hung up. He hung up. <laughs> Hello? Hello, sir. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I'm getting very upset right now. I'm so sorry about all this inconvenience. Uh, just go over, and if she doesn't let you come back here, hand her the phone. I'll tell her. The girl told me there's nobody back there. So we have you, to... If you want to talk to me, come and get me out of the lobby. So, I'm sitting in the lobby waiting for you. I'm not joining behind the counter without nobody's permission. Okay, so hand the phone to the employee. No, no more. I'm not handing the phone okay, anymore. Okay. If you want to come so, and meet me here, you meet me here. Let's make sure we're at the I'm right... waiting. So let's make sure we're at the right location. Just tell me what location you're at. Okay, that is where we are. I arrived well, about... I'm sitting in the lobby. I'm sitting in the lobby, so come on to the lobby and get me. I'm sitting here. So go and hand the phone to the employee. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Popeye 
Catherine. Hello there, ma'am. It's Ron Blackman from the Macron Institute. Is this the lady at the Popeyes? Yes. Okay, ma'am. I'm so sorry for all this inconvenience, but the gentleman is now sitting in the lobby. Um, he's very upset, ma'am. Now, he isn't dangerous. He's not dangerous in any way. But he has been known to soil himself when he gets upset. And that is something we want to avoid. Um, can you see him in the lobby? Yes, he's in the lobby. Okay. Can you just tell? Can you just go tell him that Phil is coming? Um, and, I, at the moment, I have customers. I can't leave right now. Okay. Well, can you just maybe yell over to him from the phone? Just say Phil is coming. It will soothe him. Just yell it to him. I can tell one of my employees to do it. Okay, could you, is, are you on a cordless phone? I'm sorry? Are you on a cordless phone? Yes. Okay, could you hand the phone to the employee and, and tell them to go over and I will instruct them what to say and everything will be fine. Okay. Great. Hello? Hi there, sir. Has she told you what you need to do? What? Has, has she told you what to do? Who told me what to do? Okay, you're, you're the lady there. Okay, so we have, we have a mental, an escaped mental patient in the lobby right now. Okay. And he, he, he's not dangerous, but he has been known to soil himself when he gets upset. We have someone coming there to pick him up. They are on the way right now. What I need okay. you to do is just go and talk to him to keep him calm, okay? You uh, need to talk to him. Yeah, it's only for a minute, just for one minute, just to let him know that everything's okay. What I will do, I will stay on the phone with you and I will instruct you exactly what to say, okay? It will be really easy, but it will be a big help and otherwise he may get upset and, and have an incident. You want me to go talk to him? Yes, I will tell you what to say, okay? So just listen to me and repeat what I say. Ah. Okay? Take the phone over, keep listening to my voice. Hold up, hold up, hold up. What you, what you want me to say? Hello? Can you, can you hear me, sir? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, can you go over to him and just repeat what I say, please? It's very important. We don't want him getting upset. He got To talk to him. I mean, he's chilling yes, right now. Yes, sir. It's very important that you do this. Any moment he could get upset. I need someone to just engage he's with like him for calm one. Right now, he's like just sitting there, not saying anything. He's like pretty calm. Sir, so I don't he, want to like to go there. Sir, and put him in sir, sir no, no, no. Let me explain. He goes from zero to a hundred very quickly. If he's left alone, he will start moving around again and getting upset. This will only take one minute, and it's very important. This is a medical issue, sir. All right, so when y'all gonna come get him? We are on our way right now. My team, his, his doctor, who is called Phil, is on the way there now. All right. So just go over to him and repeat what I say. All right. So just go over and say, hi, little buddy. Hold up. I think he's on the phone right now. I don't want to be rude. No, he's just pretending. He, he doesn't have an actual connection. He only has incoming calls. He just uh, likes to pretend. So just go over and just maybe gently put your hand on his shoulder and just say, hey, little buddy, everything's going to be okay. Phil is coming. Tell him what? Tell him that Phil is coming and everything's going to be okay. Call him little, bu right. call him little buddy. He likes that. Yeah, he likes that. Please, sir, it's important before he gets upset. All right. You sure? Yes, sir, absolutely. All right. Hey, little buddy. Um, Phil 
Bill's on the way. Bill is really coming? Yes, he's on the way. Bill is real? Yes, he's on the way. Say, we don't want another boo-boo. Tell him we don't want another boo-boo. Everything's fine. Just tell him we don't want another boo-boo. We don't want another boo-boo. Now give him a high five. Say high five. High five. Say high five, little buddy. High five. How's everything going there? Well, I'm not doing pretty good right now. I'm wanting to, wanting to believe if you and Phil are real right now because Did you they tell me you're in the back office. There is no back. They got a back office and nobody's back there. Yeah. And Phil just they, they just they just called to me. Phil was on his way, and like I said, I had, everybody's lying to me, and I don't know right now. I'm, I'm really just about ready to give this to attorney now. Are they being nice to you? Me out are, too they, much. are they being nice to you there? They, yeah, they're being nice to me, but it's stressing me out. You tell me to go in the back. She, oh. and she tell me that nobody's back there. You tell me you're here. And Phil, and Phil say he's pushing on the door, and, and he don't have arms. How you can push on the door with no arms? And I'm standing at the door. There's nobody shaking on the door. And they said nobody comes in the back, ever comes in the back door. So somebody's lying. Okay, so I don't know what's really going on. But I'm getting to the point where I'm about to ready to just let an attorney handle everything. Okay. Because I was but, just sir, trying to be nice, but this is this is too okay. frustrating. Have, have the staff been nice you to you? Was, what, what have they said to you? You were, you were ten minutes away, and I already been here fifteen minutes. What did that guy Wait. say to you that went over? What did that guy say to you? The guy came to me and told me that Phil is on the way. And he called on the on the door phone. And did he offer you a high five? A high five for what? Did he Did he say high five? No. Why? Oh, little bastard. Okay. Why? Why should he say high five? What do I need a high five for? Because that's the passcode of the day that corporate uses to communicate with the lower branches, sir. Okay, we have a different password every day. But that has nothing to do with me. Did Phil not tell you this on the phone? You need to go over... No, to... Phil okay. did not tell me that. Right, sir, this is very simple. Go over to the man that just spoke to you, the one that came over before, and just say high five. And he will he will escort you into the office. Please stay on the phone so I can listen. Okay. It's, I don't know if they're tripping or not, but y'all know something about a high five. Do you know something about a high five? A high five. They don't know know what you're talking about, man. Raise your hand in the air and say high five. A secret code or something that your manager supposed to know with a high five or something he's saying on the phone. That dude Ryan that come in, uh, Phil that called you. That's somebody y'all know. You don't even know who he is, right? Okay. Well, if nobody don't come and meet me, I'm not going back there. Those people don't know nothing about no high five. Sir, give me one minute. I'll be right out there. Okay, stay there. <laughs> sir. Hello. Yeah, sir. What is going Hello. on? What is going on? Well, I'm gonna tell you. If you don't come, if you say you're here. If you don't come and meet me, just come out in the front in the next five minutes, I'm gone and I don't want to talk to you no more. I'm just having my attorney to call Popeye. Oh, do you know what? Do you know what? I'm sick of your damn attitude. Why don't you get your bitch ass out of here? Just leave. Oh, really? Yeah, get the fuck out, man. I don't want to deal with you. you, you you're not even here anyway. I'm right. Okay, so I'm right you're in, not even I'm right in the back. You if you're here, you would have been and came out of the lobby and seen me. You stupid you, you idiot. You put me through all this shit. Tell me sit up and get up and get down and tell the people high five. Come on, man. Be, keep it real, man. I'm right what here. What y'all trying to do? I'm right here, dickhead. I'm sick of your attitude, okay? Oh, you're cursing too. So you, you, you're, not a, you're not a Popeye's representative neither. So, because a Popeye's sir, representative Phil, wouldn't curse you. Hello, sir. Phil, can this you guy, hear me? This, Phil, is this, Phil. this guy's been a real dick, Phil. What is going on? I Where don't know. Phil? I'm standing right here in front of him. I don't know what's going on. I'm in the lobby here. Well, well, you're in the wrong store then. No, sir. I because think what's going not, on is we might be in parallel dimensions. Oh, this again. 
what? What's going on? Yeah, Why am I, I talking I, to I two was people beating now? That, 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 that door I, down. I, I, I think we're in parallel dimensions. That explains the crossed phone line. That's why we're both on the phone at the same time. Sir, well, what, why, why is nobody? You sir, feel? Sir, I can, no, sir, I can explain what's happened completely. At some point, you have entered. No, I want to explain. Can y'all explain to me why ain't nobody here? Y'all got yes, me waiting. Here. Yes, I can, sir. I can explain exactly what's happened. At some point, you have slipped into an alternate dimension, a parallel universe. So we are both at the same location. It's just we're in different parallel universes, unable to physically interact. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, y'all having fun right now, right? No, no, sir. Listen, you're having I, fun right sir, now, I need, right? I need to be serious with you. The portal back to your universe is in the women's bathroom. Can you come into the women's bathroom, please? <laughs> <laughs> it was worth a shot. 